Well, for today's fun project, we're going to put this in this. <laughs> Sarah says my circuit board has failed. I think the motor is burned up personally since it makes a burning smell when I turn it on. But we're going to start off by replacing the circuit board. And to do that, we're going to remove these clips, which I can't really do with my left hand very well. So we got these four clips here. And then that'll allow this cover to come off if I actually got them fully open. There we go. That'll allow this cover to fall off. I guess I'll clean it while I've got it down. And then these four screws here and this handle have to get removed. And I need two hands to operate the screwdriver. Okay, now with the four screws out, you can see we're just kind of dangling here and we've got plenty of dirt that I'm gonna clean up while I'm in here too. Um, this is the circuit board that we're replacing. So I got some clips to undo here and here. And I'll have to cut these zip ties to be able to get everything loose. So let me uh, get busy on that. Well, I was hoping it was all going to be just plug and play, but I have to cut these two wires and then I'll have to reattach them. And I hope I've got some wire nuts. I think I do. Hopefully I do. Okay, with the cover completely removed, now I've got these three screws to get the circuit board off. And then I'm going to clean this up, clean up the interior of the fan, and then we'll start reassembling. Alright, so basically reassembly is just like disassembly, only backwards. One thing I'll note here is this is the uh, sensor, which runs over to here. And that is well adhered, and I don't think it's got any problem at all. So I decided just to reuse the existing sensor, which is uh, what every other YouTube video that I watched did as well. So I got some wire caps here. I've already stripped the two wires for the motor. So I got to do the, the uh, connectors, plug back in, make the motor connections, and then hopefully put it back together and it works. Okay, mission accomplished. Yay! So the fan is operating correctly. Everything is cool. Uh, but a couple of final notes for you. So I'm going to turn this off because I really don't need it on now. Um, so thing number one. See this thing down here? That's where the fuses are located. I neglected to remove the fuse before I started. And in fact, ended up blowing it. And I didn't figure that out until I went to open my skylight here. Um, I was really frustrated because I reassembled everything on the fan and there wasn't any power to it. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I was basically gonna just do a bunch more research and try and figure it out. And then I realized I'd blown the fuse. So remove the fuse before you start. And as it turns out, I had every other kind of fuse that could possibly be needed in my toolbox, except for the 15 amp. So I need to go buy a box of 15 amp fuses and uh, have those on hand in case I ever do something that stupid again. Actually, it wasn't stupid, it was just naive. Um, and the wrap up here is not too difficult a project. If I can do it, you can do it. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth, live your best life, go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.